What's going on guys? James Bonnie's here and in this video I'm going to teach you guys how to sell even if you've never sold anything in your life. Now I'm going to come right out and be transparent. I'm an introvert. You may not think that but it's a lot easier shooting videos when there's nobody around me uh, than it is to let's say make a cold call or walk into a business and try to sell them something or whatever it might be or even talk to a stranger even on the phone even if they chose the call. Um, it's uncomfortable for me. I get my hands get sweaty every single time. However, I have stuck to this script since 2014. And the only thing that changes in this script when I use it, although it's kind of memorized now, but when I use it is the niche of whom I'm talking to. So in this video, get ready to learn how to sell to anyone. All right. The first thing I'm going to do is, is, uh, share my screen. And in front of you is a script. You can get this script. I actually don't think I've done a video on this. Maybe I have, I hope I haven't. I'm kind of getting lost in the videos that I'm doing. But uh, if you join the free resources section, the link is gonna be pinned in the comments down below. And while you're there, make sure you like and you subscribe and you turn all the notifications on because I have so many videos up and coming, uh, like dozens and dozens and dozens of them about business, about SMMA, agencies, local businesses. I have uh, snapshots, go high level, like tons of them coming out. Uh, so make sure that you do that. All right, now back on topic. You wanna sell, right? now. Let me go out on a limb here and tell you guys that you do not have to be good at selling to sell. You have to have a proven process. In addition, if you always keep it in your mind that you are going to lead with value, it is a lot easier to sell, okay? It's very difficult to sell to somebody who doesn't even know who you are. You've shown no value in the in the marketplace. Maybe you, you don't even have a case study because that makes it even easier. And so this script you can use whether you're a beginner, you're an intermediate, or you're a professional because this script has been not only used in, um, in the SMMA business, this has been used in the coaching business, this has been used in, uh, in almost every single business um, that sells something to someone, okay? It works. Uh, I got my hands on it in 2014. We teach this to our students, whatever. I'm gonna teach it to you now, okay? Make it nice and big for you guys. So I'm, go I'm not going to go line by line. I'm going to share the sections and why they are important. And I probably should make a two part video on this, but let's see how this goes. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you are, if you're gonna be making phone calls, whatever it might be, you wanna be in it, right? You gotta be warmed up a little bit. You can't just come into an office or go in your basement and just like think that you're going to like sell something, okay? Get everybody out of the room. Cell phone is gone, well, unless you're using it. Uh, just just make sure that you are you prep yourself up for it because it's kind of like going to the gym. Like you need a five minute warm up, right? Do some jumping jacks. You don't want to be out of breath when you're on it on the phone. But just again, you can read through this and in the free resource sections, I'm going to put a copy of this. Okay, so all that is is preparation for the phone call. Step two is the warm up. Right, you're gonna take them to dinner first, all right? So for example, if I'm making a phone, let's say I'm making a phone call, and I don't know which one this is, but um, we can change it to a niche. Um, it's gonna go like, hi, Jan uh, hi Nancy, this is James from Visibility Cloud, how's it going, all right? And so ultimately, this is gonna be used, let's say, for somebody who may have booked a call on your calendar for your services, all right? Let's, let's do this, this first. Um, and you, you want to have a quick conversation with them. You know, where are you from? How's your week going? Cool. And then you want to be able to find some sort of connection between you and that person. Maybe you're in the military. Oh, I was in the military too. Maybe you like to golf. Oh, I love golfing. You get it, right? Um, so once you do that little, that little connection, uh, personality connection, you'll find it with everybody. Okay. You will find a connection with everybody. Um, you want to like dive right in. You don't want to, uh, you want to ask for, uh, for permission to dive in, right? So cool. So Nancy, I know how busy you are. Uh, so we're going to dive right into this call and get started. Does this sound okay? Every, this in, you are going to control this conversation with questions. This is what a lot of people mess up. They think that as, a, as somebody selling something, they think that, the, the, um, that they should just keep talking and, 
and spitting things at them. The reality is the only time you should talk is in agreement and a question. In agreement and a question. Like that is all it is, okay? And you'll see what I mean when I go through this. So you wanna be in control by stating exactly how the call is gonna go. You are in control of the call. Do not allow anybody to ever control the call that you are on. You are in control, okay? All right, so Nancy, the way this is gonna go is I'm first gonna ask you a few questions about your job business uh, and then your application so I can get a better understanding how, how we can help you, right? Then if we both feel good about uh, if this is gonna be a good fit, and we're both confident that I can help you, I'm gonna explain uh, what I'm offering and how it works. Then once we make that decision together, we can move forward or not. Does that sound fair? Done, right? So this is how you are gonna control it. And then you're not gonna say anything until she says something. Does that sound fair? If there's no, like don't say anything, let them agree, okay? That's giving you permission to continue. Now, you're gonna find out why they're interested in your services in the first place, right? So Nancy, what was the motivating factor you booked a call, filled a form out on the site, called me for my ad, et cetera, right? And if they come right out and say their problem, then that's what you wanna do and move to the next part. If not, you're gonna keep asking probing questions. Essentially, you want them to admit that they have a problem, okay? So, so for, uh, let me give you an example. Motivating factor, I was curious. Well, what were you curious about? Well, I was curious about how you can get me more leads. What, uh, what makes you cur curious about that? Have you tried this before, right? Uh, yeah, I've tried it before. I just can't seem to get good leads online. Great. So you've been able to get leads online? I have been, but uh, they've just been bad quality. Great. We'll dive into that in just a second, right? So what is their problem? We've identified that they've gotten leads online, that the only problem that they're having right now is the leads that they get are garbage, okay? <clears throat> you can see there's some questions here. Now, you need to understand their current situation. Okay, what exactly are you selling? So let's say, I don't know, mortgages, right? Um, and so how do you price that? How much do you make? If you close a loan that's 300,000, how much do you make? I make about 7,000 off that, great. Now you have a client value for them, all right? You're gonna be writing this stuff down. It's important because it all comes back into full circle. Who's your best customer? Right? Oh, it's it's usually somebody in their 20s or 30s that are looking to find their first home. Oh, now we know, first home, right? So 300,000, they make 7,000 off 300,000 and they usually 20s or 30s, right? And all you're doing is you're finding ways to possibly target their customers with your services, okay? Without them even knowing you're doing that, all right? What issues do people have that buy uh, that buy what you sell? Again, you, you can change this to your niche. Um, and so now it's gonna be time to buckle down and, and to get them into the pain. How do you currently get customers? I have billboards, great. How much does it cost you to acquire that customer? They're not gonna know. Do you have a sales process in place? Probably not, I'd call or text them. Do you like this style process for your business? Let them admit that they hate what they're doing because it's unpredictable. They don't know where their leads are coming from or they have no leads. Maybe they have no leads at all, right? These are things we wanna find out. And here they're gonna stumble a little bit and realize they need help. They're slowly gonna start realizing how ridiculous they sound as they start telling you their problems because you're asking them questions that says, all right, well, you have a problem, but you kinda of haven't really done anything about it, right? And that's what we want them to feel. Uh, so let me ask, exactly, on average, how much do you make per month? And this is important, and it's uncomfortable, and I get it. And then down here, I'm gonna tell you to shut up and let them answer. Don't let them get away with an arbitrary number. You want an actual number, okay? Well, on average, right, I make 6,000 a month. Great, so that's 72,000 a year, would you say about on average? Yes, great. Now you have a number in your head, or not in your head, on a piece of paper that you wrote down. Again, all information we're gonna be using. So now the pain is out in the open, and now we're gonna find out exactly what do they want. Now you know what they are currently making. Now find out exactly what they wanna be making. Then you will find out exactly why. Watch how this moves. All right, Nancy, so you're currently making uh, $6,000 per month in your business. How much do you want to make, let's say, in the next 12 months? Now you need to get the answer and wait even if there is a long pause. 
like that, like long. Like I've, I've waited minutes sometimes, okay? The pain is in the open and you're gonna find out what they want. So uh, over here, okay, Nancy, you're currently making whatever, let's go through this again, 12 months. And let's say they say, well, I'm making 6,000 a month now, I wanna make 20. I wanna make 20,000 a month in my business. That's what I wanna make, great. Um, and what's the reason or motivation behind wanting to achieve that monthly income. See, making money is not good enough to get people to move. It's not about the money. It never is, it never will be from now until eternity. It's never about the money, okay? So we're gonna dive deeper into why money matters to them, all right? Even do this into your own self. Answer these questions yourself. Why do you wanna make money? You'll find out, well, it's not really not about the money. Right. If in a year you achieve twenty thousand dollars a month, how would that affect other areas of your life, like family or friends? Tell me a little bit about that. Now I'm gonna, I say here, dig deep into their soul, and I'm not kidding. Don't let them tell you they want to go from making ten to fifteen thousand a month. It's bull. Okay. They should want to double or triple their income, and if they don't, let them know they need to think bigger. So here's a, a big problem that people have: is like, hey, I'm making ten, but I would love to make fifteen. Like, really? Like, we're gonna go through all of this for an extra five thousand a month? We're, you're you're gonna book a call with me? I'm gonna charge you a thousand, two thousand, three thousand dollars a month for perpetuity, right? Hopefully, that's you don't want them to churn. And so you want them to reach bigger. Now, the example I gave before, they're making six. Now they want to make 20. It's a great example. That's perfect, right? We don't need to dig any deeper into that. So let's keep numbers uh, the same. Uh, all right, Nancy, you're making, all right, this is a PDF, uh, 5,000, 6,000 a month. And now you told me you wanted to make 15 or 20, right? So why haven't you achieved that yet? See, what we're doing in this section is you need to put, uh, bring them into the state of realization where they don't have a plan, which then makes them realize they need you, okay? Um, and so they're gonna get some answers. And what you're looking for is they can't, they don't have time, they need a better system in place. I can, but wanna do it faster. So these are the three buckets that people, that you want people to fall into, okay? Oh, I said down here. You want them to say one of these three things. Uh, here, let's go back to this again so I could explain it more. If they say they can't or they don't have time, that's what they need you for. If they need a better system in place, that's what they need you for. If um, if they can, but they just like, they, they understand everything to do, but they're just struggling with like finding time to implement it, that's where you come in. You understand where, where this is? You want, you want to move them into that. And a lot of times they will say that, right? They will say one of these three things. It's the most common thing. I've done hundreds and hundreds of these phone calls, they all fall into the same one of these buckets. So this is where the commitment will come in with the emotional pre-close, okay? So Nancy, you're gonna be making, uh, you're making 6,000 a month, so why not just stay there and be happy with that? And it's an honest question, right? You booked a call with me, and I'm, I, and I'm, gonna, I'm going to put you in a position where you kinda can't say no to me in the end, and you'll see how. Uh, not having 15,000 per month, how has that affected? So not having the goal you want, so this is what you're making, not having the goal you want, how has that affected other areas of your life? Okay, for example, well, you know, I would love my, if it's whatever, I love my wife to be able to retire. You know, she's trying to take care of the kids, she's working full time, I'm working in my, in this business and I'm, you know, just time is it of, of the essence. And then by the time the year is over, we've realized we've taken no vacations, we have no savings, and it's just been another year gone and I got nothing to show for it. Emotional, right? Emotional pre-close. They just told you the massive amount of pain that they are in because they do not have a, uh, the money to help with that pain, okay? And again, it's not money, it's time, it's resources, it's uh, vacations, which is time, it's family. Again, you can go, you, you understand where that all is built up, right? Uh, I see, so when do you wanna fix this? So what you're doing is, is you're, you're telling, you're asking them a question on, and, and wanting them to say now, I, I, I don't wanna do this anymore, I want to fix this now, okay? And again, all this is going to be relayed back to them. 
I understand everyone says now, but how committed are you to fixing this now, right? Again, another commitment. And this is powerful because emotion will play a huge part in this. So let them get down and dirty with their emotion, all right? So now you're gonna ask for permission to share your offer. Nancy, these are really powerful reasons, okay, that you wanna make more money. And I feel how committed you are, so I would love the opportunity to spend the next five to 10 minutes to share what I do and how I can help. Is that okay with you, right? And again, you're gonna pause, not speak, and say, great, once they say something. Now you're gonna give them your goods. My area of expertise is referral lead generation using large advertising platforms that people use every day by placing small, simple ads. I normally work with dentists, surgeons, whatever niche that you're talking to, and I help them generate more business online. This will be weird, but after you say these things, I want you to just be quiet, okay? So it'll go something like this. Listen, Nancy, my area of expertise is People like you, dentists, let's throw a niche out there, dentists, okay? And what we do is we advertise on large platforms, platforms that people use every single day, Google, Facebook, TikTok, whatever it might be, okay? And all we do is we put simple ads up and those simple ads help bring those businesses, uh, dentists, more leads and customers, okay? And I... Uh, and then, so this goes back into a normally work blah, 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 and help them generate more business online, right? So these two things, okay? Um, and it's gonna be weird because after I say that, more uh, generate more business online, we want an answer from that. We don't want an answer. We want something from them, okay? And so ultimately what we wanna do in this situation is we want them to kind of feel like, oof, this sounds good. Like this is what I need. Like I, I really need, I, I, this is exactly what I want. Okay, I've heard of other dentists using Google and Facebook and stuff like that. This is what I want. Now, you, you also don't have to say Google, Facebook. You could keep it large advertising platforms and make it kind of sound like, you know, a little different than what everybody else says. Uh, and you could change these words up. But after you say these things, again, be quiet. You want them to think, hey, that's me. If you must, after 10 to 15 seconds of silence, ask, this sounds right up your alley, doesn't it? Right? If it starts to feel a little uncomfortable, ask them a qualifying question. This sounds like you, isn't it? All right, so this is where you're gonna give them what they want, your services, and how it works. If done properly, this is where they will ask you how much or what's the next step. This is where you present it clearly without solving their problem. If you solve their problem on the phone, they don't need you. An example, I run pay-per-click advertising for taxi campaigns, or I run pay-per-click advertising for dentists. They can now go and do it themselves. Now, again, right, this is simplifying it, not necessarily. Ultimately, what you kind of want to do is you want to be broad in what you do with the outcome. Broad meaning how I do it, the outcome is more money in your pocket, right? More leads, more customers, which is more money in your pocket. All right. So here's an example of not solving the problem on the phone and being vague. Normally, when we work with dentists, we always start off on a trial. I understand the struggles we just talked about. So the reason we do this is so we can prove ourselves and our promises to people like you. I have noticed in this industry, a lot of you owner, uh, dentists have gotten ripped off in the past with people promising the world or forcing 12 month contracts down your throat. I'm different. I will help or my company is different. I will help generate you referrals for a set price which we will discuss in a few minutes. And then at the end of the trial, I'll call you up and we can discuss the future. How does that sound? Now, obviously they're gonna ask questions. You want them to. Questions are good. They didn't hang up the phone on you. They didn't tell you to go stick your foot up, you know what? And here's where they're gonna get, uh, they're gonna get comfortable with your offer and ask about how you generate leads. What platforms, this is okay. And it's okay here to be specific. So broad in kind of the, pitch in a way, right? Broad that way, specific in the answers when they ask you. If they say, what platform? We generate some leads using Facebook and some using Google and sometimes YouTube. It varies, but in the end, all you care about is the leads and referrals, correct? <clears throat> and so here's where they're gonna ask price. And here's where you're gonna build in something we call incentive pricing. And why do we do incentive pricing? Incentive pricing is because people will not move. And by the way, this is extremely important. This is not false incentive pricing. This is straight up gangster incentive pricing. This is where like, let me go through it and I'll explain. 
Um, this one piece will help you close more people immediately. So if you're already making phone calls, this is going to help. Normally, my fee is $1,000 to set up the back end and then $850 for the trial, which for me is the most work uh, since I have to learn about your area, bid amounts, and all sorts of stuff you probably aren't so concerned with. But I have found individuals who make decisions on the phone turn out, <clears throat> turn out to be my best clients and amazingly enough, has the best success. That is why I have something I call incentive-based pricing, where if you make a decision on the call with me today, I will rid the setup fee and only charge you the trial price, right? Now, you could do trials for a price. You could do them for free. You could do them for whatever you want, okay? It's up to you. In this uh, scenario, this was me and loan officers, and I, this is what we did for the loan officer niche when we were running Facebook ads and having them book calls on my calendar, okay? And so, uh, blah, 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 I'm on the call. And, uh, so anyway, you get to the end here and you shut up. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Do not speak if it's a minute, two minutes, five minutes. Don't give in and be strong. We want to hear these things. Great, let's do it. What's next? How do I pay, right? Obviously, these are the things we want to hear. Uh, be ready to take the card now. Do not, let them, do not let them force you to send an invoice. And if they want a PayPal link or whatever, just don't hang up, right? And so here's where the objections are going to come in and we can do all, an entire YouTube video on objections. Okay. Let me run uh, through some now. And again, objections are not objections. They are questions that you need to answer. That's all. Always remember this. Okay. But on the phone call, you do not want to hear anything other than a yes or a no. Okay. Now, let me let me share the caveat. This incentive based pricing, if they are question after question after question, and they're like, look, I'm really interested. I do not want to make a decision on the phone. I'm not going to say, well, sorry, and hang up the phone. This is what I'm going to say. I'm going to be like, look, I understand this is a big decision for your company. I understand what you've done in the past, but I also understand that you told me in the beginning you were making six, you want to make 20,000 uh, a month, but you have no plan in place. You have no way to do it. So if it's not me and my plan, who is it, right? But I do also respect that, you know, you don't want to be forced into this. So I'll tell you what, I can offer you the incentive pricing as long as you schedule a call with me in the next 24 hours where you can give me a yes or no. Does that sound fair? Again, we do not want to be car salesmen here, but we want to stay true to our word. You can't tell somebody that you offer incentive-based pricing, you're going to get rid of all this stuff, and in three weeks they come back to you and say, hey, I'm ready. I'm sorry, you're going to have to pay the setup fee. I told you that I'm a business. I have my rules. I have my incentives. It wouldn't be fair for the people who decided on the phone with me to, to move today because of that incentive-based pricing, and you need to be transparent and true to your word, okay? So don't allow them to say, send me something in the e uh, uh, email. Let me need, I need to talk to my wife. Great. Is she around? Can I talk to her? Let's get her on the phone right now. Business partner. Great. Can I, let, let's talk to them right now. Um, I need to think about it. Th that I understand that. So that means that I'm not answering some of the questions. Let's just get all the questions out of the way. Do you agree with that? Right. Then there will be nothing to think about. So allow uh, objections to come to the surface and then answer them. That's all they are. They're just questions. If the object, uh, objection is time, answer with this. I understand. However, is there something we could talk about now to eliminate the worry in your mind? If you can't overcome it, the only thing you could do is set up another time to speak within 24 hours, okay? First, friend them on Facebook. Tell them, tell them that you did. You'll send them a reminder, so on and forth. Again, connect with them. I'm broke. I can't afford it. I understand that. I remember feeling the same way when I invested in my last coaching program, let's say, or it wouldn't be coaching program in this, but... Uh, this is an example. Um, I was nervous and scared. However, I understood I couldn't afford not to. You told me you need to go from 6000 to 20000 How could you afford not to move forward? Is price the issue? How do we move forward today? Let's make this work, right? Is it price? Well, great. So again, again, if you're offering a free trial, like this should not even come up. But if you're offering a paid trial at 1000 bucks. Um, you know, if money's short and you can't move forward, wh what do you have today that would, that, that you could put down that would be a deposit. And then in, in a few weeks, when you have the remainder, we can get this moving, right? Again, there's always ways that you could do it. You just want the commitment on the phone. You want to commit. You've spent 20 minutes, 30 minutes with them, 45 minutes with them, get a commitment, whether it be a no or a yes, it's a commitment, right? 
Uh, I need to get back to you when I have more money. Again, this is kind of the same thing. You can read these uh, through these. Oh, I, I like this one actually. All right, I understand, but let's look at that for a second. We spoke about how you were struggling to make enough money. What makes you think if you continue to do the same thing without my help, you'll magically have that extra money to move forward. It's kind of ironic, right? Or silly, right? So how do we move forward today to get that extra income you, so, you desire? I need to think about it. Great. I encourage you to think, which I believe you probably did a lot of thinking already on the phone. So what haven't we discussed over the phone that you need to think about? Go over some of the questions. Worst case, get, again, 24 hours. Let's just go through a few other ones. Timing sucks right now, but sounds great. That's interesting. Well, I felt that you believe timing is perfect. You just went through all the reasons why you wanted to move forward, and now timing is not right. And if that's true, when will timing be right to put your goals and dreams first and not after everything else? Guys, if you have the script in front of you, you can say these things. It's when you're trying to think of it with nothing in front of you because people need to understand their own bull that they tell themselves in their mind. I want this, oh, but I'm not willing to do it. Well, then you don't want it. I wanna make 20 grand a month. Oh, but I'm not willing to invest in something that will help me make 20,000 a month, right? And it's fine. Most people will stay, stay where they are for the rest of their lives on 50 grand a year. Always remember this, people prefer the certainty of misery than the misery of uncertainty. Listen to that. People prefer the certainty of misery than the misery of uncertainty. It's extremely powerful, and that's just the way it is. So don't be afraid to call people on their bull, okay? Uh, let's go, need to talk to your partner, great. Let's get them on the phone. If not, book within 24 hours. I need to talk to my partner, so on and so forth. And that is a very, very simple script that you can follow to close more business. And uh, guys, listen to me, listen very clearly. I have closed dozens of loan officers with this exact script. I don't even know how many other niches with this exact script. I've run ads to my calendar and sat with this script. I've not only done that, I even in my coaching program, this is one of the scripts that, that we use, of course, right? Anytime you're asking somebody for money, you, you need to help them make the decision. And, and the reason why is because if I, if, if my son said to me, and, and I'm being in this, I'm gonna end with this. If my son said to me, dad, yeah, let's say he's, um, I don't know, I'm a little older and he's 22. And he said, uh, dad, I want to, uh, I want to make a hundred grand a year. Or oh, why do you want to make a hundred grand a year? I would, you know, I would love to be able to, um, you know, save and buy properties and collect rent and buy all these things. Right. That's great. Um, you don't have a job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know I don't have a job. Well, how do you expect to make money if you don't have a job? Well, um, it's going to fall off the tree. And it's a stupid example. But the whole point of that is that is no different than somebody who's making a business owner that's working his butt off and making 100 grand a year, but wants 300, but is not willing to do anything about it. The farthest of most people get is getting on phone calls, is trying a few companies here and there. It is what it is, but at least trying is showing and booking a call is showing even more. Um, and so it is our duty, and, I, and I've mentioned this before in other videos, it's our duty and our job as our own business owners that is in the game of changing lives, right? Remember that synergy, help somebody else get to where they wanna go and you will automatically get to where you wanna go and, and, and scale that out, right? Help more people and you, they, it'll compound. It is a actual fact. Um, it's just the way the universe works, however you wanna look at it. And the reality is though, is that most people need to kind of be called out on their own lies they tell themselves. I am this, I want this, not willing to do it, sorry. So then you don't want it. That's all this whole script is, is where you are, where do you wanna go, what have you done in the past, right? Why can't you get there on your own? And 
here's my solution. You either want it or you don't. All right. Rewind that and rewatch it for how that kind of goes. Um, this is it. Click the button down. Uh, click the button down below. Such a marketer. Click um, in the description. Uh, free resources. Go grab this script. I'm going to throw it in there a little bit. And uh, like, subscribe, comment, turn the notifications on because I got dozens and dozens of more videos coming. Appreciate your time. Hope you liked it. Again, share the video. Please share it on Facebook. Share it wherever you can because I think a lot of people would love to watch this. Thanks a lot. Talk soon.